my name is Faith Long. I'm the wellness coordinator at the Kosciuszko Community YMCA, and I am a certified personal trainer and a group exercise instructor, and today we have a new Moms on the Move class. So if this, if this is your first time taking this class, this is great for um, mamas that are currently pregnant and those moms that have recently had a baby. Um, we believe that pre and postnatal um, exercise builds confidence. So it's so great for moms to take time um, to get this exercise in. It's just so great for mom and for the baby. So thanks for joining me. Today we are just going to be using a mat and then I also have my water back there as well. So make sure you have plenty of water um, and stay hydrated. A uh, key thing to remember is don't wait for me to give water breaks. Drink plenty of water throughout the workout. And just remember too that um, be smart. If there's anything that we are doing that feels uncomfortable for you or just doesn't feel right, then stop doing it. Uh, don't try and push through any discomfort and pain. So just be smart and listen to your body. Um, so we'll start with a nice long warm up, get ourselves and our muscles nice and ready to go and lubricated joints. And then we'll jump into our workout. So we'll go ahead and get started. Alright, if you feel comfortable, you can bring it up to your jog. If you're not, you can stay in that walk. Good. All right. We're going to do a squat with a hay baler. So it's a diagonal lift. So I'm going to go down to the squat, reach the side, come up and across. Jack, low impact is like a low side step. 
So pick whatever is comfortable for you. Go ahead and join me.
breastfeeding your baby. Uh, you can just sit there and do these keto exercises. And no one has to know. It's not super obvious, so you can do it wherever. All right, so we're going to go to the wall here and do a couple of stretches. I'm going to move a couple of my weights out of the way. Yeah, 
more, two more.
do a deadlift. This strengthens your lower back and your hamstrings. Something you want to look for, you want to make sure that you keep your lower back straight and your knees soft. So we're going to um, use our baby for our weight. If you don't have a baby, if you're pregnant, you can do just body weight. Or if you have some dumbbells or just maybe a heavy book, you can grab that as a substitute. So. I'll go ahead and show you from the side what it looks like. I'm going to hold my baby up by its armpits. And then I'm going to fold forward. My knees are soft. My back is flat. Bringing the baby down close to the mat and back up. So you want to use your hamstrings and glutes. You want to engage those to pull yourself back up. All right, so we're going to do 15 reps. Go ahead and join me at home. strengthen that. So make sure you keep your knees over your toes and then uh, your weight in your heels. So we're going to do 20 reps. If you have your baby, you're going to hold them, hug them nice and tight to your chest. Again, if you're pregnant, you can just use that weight. So we're just doing regular squats here. So I'm going to go down to my squat and back up. All right, we're going to do 20 reps. All right, but this is our last exercise. And then we'll stretch. All right, go ahead and join me at home. Ten 
we're halfway. Um, pregnant mamas and mamas that just had babies. Uh, it's a great idea to shower, uh, take a shower, a nice warm shower, and to stretch while you're in the shower. But I always want to encourage you to be safe um, while you're stretching in the shower. Just be careful. But the reason I encourage a warm shower to stretch um, is because it gets those muscles already more loose. And so it makes it a little bit easier to stretch. You can also take a warm bath and then stretch right after. So just want to thank you guys for joining today, for following along and keeping up with us here at the Y. We're so anxious to get back um, to the Y with everyone. We hope to see you there. Um, 
but we'll continue to offer these online classes for a while as well, so that will always be an option. So enjoy the rest of your day, have a great Memorial Day weekend, and we'll see you later.